Which NASCAR drivers should go on the Hot Ones show? Hey everyone, welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. Which NASCAR drivers should go on to Hot Ones? You know, the interview show with Sean Evans where they sit down and they eat hot wings of various different levels of hotness and have an interview in the process. And typically it leads to very entertaining reactions from the guest. Lewis Hamilton just went on their latest episode and it's highly entertaining. Go ahead and watch it if you haven't already. But in 24 hours, it's approaching 2 million views. It would be great exposure for NASCAR to get one of their rising stars onto that show. I see a lot of people in the comments and specifically Skew Car on Twitter said that Chase Elliott would be a great person to have on this. And then everybody proceeded to put their suggestions below on who should and who shouldn't be on. And honestly, Chase Elliott, in my opinion, should not be on at all. But I've gone ahead and created a list of guys I think should not be and should be on this show and, you know, gave Sean Evans a few tips on what he could possibly say to these drivers. So first up on my list of guys that should not be on Hot Ones is Chase Elliott because he has the personality of this USB Type-C cable right here, which is none at all. For a guy that does a lot of interesting things like flying, snowboarding, and driving race cars, when he gets put in front of a camera, he clams up like a fifth grader playing Mark Twain in the local school play. So, but for Sean Evans, he could hit Chase Elliott with something like, this is hotter than Livy Dunn, who you met last year at Nashville. Why don't you tell me about that? Because you know Chase isn't going to talk about his leg break. He's not going to talk about his championship other than being like, that's cool. And then when he does finally eat a hot wing, he's going to be like, yeah, that's hot. Yeah, dude, it's a hot wing show. What do you expect? So Chase Elliott, off my list. I'm not putting him on there at all. What about Christopher Bell? No, because if Chase Elliott has a personality of a USB cable, Christopher Bell has the personality of an Allen wrench right here. Just none whatsoever. Again, super talented race car driver, just does not have a media personality. But Sean could hit him with something like, you're about to have the same reaction to this hot sauce as you did with Kyle Busch, so why don't you start apologizing to it right now? For Christopher Bell, he does cool things, but even when he was on the Full Speed Netflix show, just not the most entertaining interviewer in the world, which is fine because he's a really good race car driver. Moving on to other guys that I would not put on here, Ty Gibbs, you know, the young Joffrey Gibbs, the one that looks like that villain from The Incredibles. Sean could hit him with something like, you're a guy that likes to spice things up a little bit. This is going to hit harder than a Sam Mayer fight at Martinsville. You know, do some research here because Ty is certainly a guy that doesn't back away from running into people with his vehicle. And then he's willing to fight somebody if they're around his same size. And he has his helmet on and he can get the first shot in. But other than that, he's definitely a guy that's willing to try to fight other people. Those are probably the ones that stick out to me on guys that I definitely don't want to have on there. Guys that were being suggested as well. A lot of people were suggesting like Dale Earnhardt Jr., Michael Waltrip, Clint Boyer, Kevin Harvick. No, we need to use this platform to grow NASCAR's current driving stars. Dale Jr. being on would be funny. There'd be a lot of man, dang, damn, stuff like that. You know, Dale's one-liners that he's always going to say because it's really hot. But Dale's already a massive star. We don't need to make him into a bigger star. We need to grow the drivers that we currently have in NASCAR. Boyer obviously would be entertaining as well. But again, not a current driver. Michael Waltrip, uh, no. Just no. We've seen the grid walk too many times. I don't want him doing other things. Nice guy, no. And then Kevin Harvick also, again, no. Grow the current drivers. So which current drivers would you have on? Well, there's actually a pretty decent list of guys I think that would be pretty entertaining on this show. Probably the one that comes to everybody's mind first is Ryan Blaney, super marketable, defending NASCAR Cup Series champion, multiple time race winner, and a guy that, you know, NASCAR can really promote. He kind of can relate to most people. He was on Barstool's Yak show uh, a few weeks ago, months ago at this point, and he was super personable, very entertaining, fit in great. Love to see stuff like that. He really seems like he's kind of coming out of that media shell. And Sean could hit him with something like, you're a guy that gets hot-headed when you get into the race car. And last year in the championship race, you flipped off Ross Chastain multiple times. Are you going to do that to me today? Because obviously Sean's going to get Ryan very heated up with those Scoville levels, which is the rating for the hot sauce. I don't understand it, but it's the rating. And then other people that would be great on there, Ross Chastain. You're going to have awkward silent moments with Ross. You're just going to. He's going to say Sean's name probably. I'd set the line out a dozen times within like 20 minutes. So you're going to have to deal with that as well. He's definitely going to be talking about watermelon for sure. Sean could hit him with something like this has some punch to it. Kind of like your fist to the side of Noah Gragson's face last year. Did you think about protecting his melon in the moment? And then they can work into, you know, a melon ad read for Ross Chastain. So could work out for him. 
No watermelon flavored hot sauces though. No, we're drawing the line right there. Not doing it. Just, just cannot do it. Noah Gragson, another guy that gets thrown out there for being having a great personality. Noah has a great personality. Does he make questionable decisions on Instagram? Sure. But in terms of personality, he is highly entertaining. He can walk out onto the set, do the show like he's Tim Richmond, chest hair popping out, and everything that goes along with that. And Sean can hit him with something along the lines of like, hey, this hot sauce is going to give you nightmares like the Chicago street course does, because I think Noah's still dreading going back there in what, a little over a month's time now. Other people that would be entertaining, Carson Hosevar. Which, Carson Hosevar does have a good personality, but if Sean wants to hit him with, hey, this hot sauce is going to hit harder than you hooking a driver in the right rear, turning him head on into the wall, I'm here for hard-hitting questions like that. But he wears a funny hat, he has a decent personality, he just doesn't win yet. So, for Carson, again, would be a good ambassador, but I don't know if he's at that level where that's a guy that you want to promote so far. And then you have a driver that nobody wants to talk about being on the show, but would actually be very entertaining. And that is James Allen, Dennis Hamlin. Denny Hamlin would actually be very good on the show. Yeah, we're going to get that dorky, toothy smile of him <laughs> laughing like that. But, you know, he would be entertaining. He's personable. He was great on that full speed NASCAR Netflix show. And, you know, they can hit him with a line along the lines of like, hey, this Scoville level matches the square footage of your house. Why don't you tell us about that? Since Denny has a massive house and he does have a race car in his family room, which is pretty cool along the lines but for a guy that you know has been in the sport for 19 years at this point uh hasn't won a championship yet has won a lot of big time races won a lot of races is a nascar team owner as well he would be a good ambassador for the sport to put out in front of an audience like this where their videos typically get between 2 million and 8 million views so it's a pretty good audience for a nascar guy to get in front of bubba wallace again would be great super personable outgoing has really embraced like the media role around it, which I think is uh, really good for him. Everybody over at TRD seems to have done that and sort of let the cameras in, which has created great brand exposure, not only for, for them and their personal brands, but also for the brands that they represent. And Sean can get him with, you know, a line along something about, remember when you blasted Alex Bowman in the face with water after that race at the Roval. Well, we brought him in today to do the same thing to you when your face is on fire. Tyler Reddick, another guy from that TRD 2311 stable that would be fantastic on the show. Has a great personality, uh, wins races, contends for championships, and, you know, this hot sauce is probably going to make your face redder than when you told Richard Childress you were leaving to go to 2311 Racing. And if he shows up in his Luigi costume, you know, the one that he uses to get ready for races, because, you know, how else are you going to sim practice other than using Mario Kart? 10 for 10. Let's have that happen every single time. Kyle Busch would be great just from the standpoint of the facial expressions that we're going to get from him. Obviously, Kyle's known for having great facial expressions. His his expression at Bristol a few years ago in the Xfinity race was top-notch, 100 out of 10. Like, it, nobody's going to top something like that. And, you know, I guarantee you these hot sauces are going to hit harder than Ricky Stenhouse Jr. does. So, for Kyle, it would be great. Super personable guy, was a team owner, wins races, drives for Richard Childers Racing, Chevy guy now, so people like him all of a sudden. Kyle Busch, put him on the hot ones. And then last but not least, this is a guy that I think would be hilarious because I share the same sense of humor as him. I don't think a lot of people would get it. It would be Alex Bowman. There is a 0% chance he takes any of those questions seriously, probably ends up mocking Sean Evans the entire time, and just gives sarcastic answers for majority of the questions. But Alex Bowman would be highly entertaining. I just don't think people understand his sense of humor, even though I think he probably has the best personality in the garage area uh, amongst the active NASCAR Cup Series drivers. So let me know in the comments, which driver would you pick to have on Hot Ones and why? Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.